In this short video, we will discuss about fuzzy queries in Elasticsearch. First, I will be showing you a very common example of what is fuzziness. So suppose I am searching for something on Google, say a laptop, but by mistake, I omit the letter T. So my search becomes laptop. But Google knows that I am looking indeed for, this, for the term laptop. And here I can see that almost all of the auto suggestions are suggesting me laptop. This is because Google is using fuzziness on my search query and they are able to guess that I might be searching for the term laptop. Next, let us read about fuzzy queries straight from the Elasticsearch documentation. So here it tells us that it returns documents that contain terms similar to the search term. So a fuzzy query will return us terms that are similar to the original search term, which means that they can be exactly like the original search term or there can be a difference of a few characters. And the similarity is measured by means of Levenstein edit distance. So this edit distance is the number of one character changes that we need to make to a certain word to get to another word. For example, um, these changes can be that we can change a character. Say here we are changing box to fox. We can remove a certain character like from black, we are removing B to get black. We can insert a character like we are inserting K in case of SIC to say, and we can transport to adjacent characters to turn act into cat and each of this operation individually quantifies for a edit distance of one and further the documentation tells us how this is working internally to find similar terms the fuzzy query creates a set of all possible variations or expansions of the search term with the specified edit distance the query then returns the exact matches for each expansion before moving to Kibana, I'd like to show you this problem number 72, edit distance on lead code, which is based on the exact same concept that we just discussed. And if anyone is interested in algorithms, they should def definitely give this problem a try. Let's head back to Kibana and see all of it in action. Here I have a match query where the search term is backend, but it is purposefully misspelled by missing a E. So I send this request and I see that indeed I do not get any hits. So what I'll do is I'll change the match to a fuzzy to implement a fuzzy query. And when I send this request, yes, I can see that even though I misspelled the term backend, I get the results for backend because of the fuzziness involved in the query. So what happens when I say missed one more character out here? And uh, well, it doesn't work. To make it work, what we'll do is we'll copy it below here and uh, I'll get rid of this term. I'll add a JSON object here. I'd say that the value that I am searching for is this and the fuzziness allowed is up to two characters I'll send this request and yes the exact term that did not match like this now matches provided a fuzziness of two one more thing to take note of here is that this fuzziness specifies not the exact but the maximum amount of fuzziness so even if i were to change this value to something like this where we are missing just one character it would still give me the same result Let's read more about this in the documentation and here I see that the value field is required. The fuzziness field is option. So this fuzziness field specifies the maximum edit distance allowed for matching and we can check more about it on this page. And here we see that the values allowed for fuzziness are 0, 1 and 2. And I think so this is pretty logical because if we say take too much fuzziness, we can get really irrelevant results. Like think about it as and when the edit distance becomes huge, you can take 
some word and you can transform it into something using those edits which is totally unrelated to the original word. We can also specify the fuzziness as auto which generates an edit distance based on the length of the term. And here we can see that if the search term has a length from 0 to 2 then the fuzziness would be 0. From 3 to 5 it would, would be 1 and for greater than 5 it would be 2. And they also tell us that auto should be the preferred value for fuzziness. And that is all we had to discuss about fuzziness. Please do try it out on your own set of examples in your own Kibana console and it'll be like really fun, I promise you. So if you like the content of this video and if you find it helpful, please do hit the like button. And if you like the content of my channel and find it helpful, please click subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates and like always, thanks a lot for watching guys.